Hey everybody, I apologize for all the background noise, but uh, such is a laundry room. Just wanted to take some time on this fine Saturday morning to just show you a couple of example problems in case you're struggling a little bit. Uh, so here we go, here's the first example. Uh, of course, we're talking about arithmetic sequences. Uh, we're supposed to find the common difference and write the formula for a sub n. Okay, right, and so a sub n is just a formula that depending on which term we want to find, we can plug in n and find that term. So this is a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, right, and anywhere along the line, a sub n, any n, uh, we can find it using the formula. So, um, first of all, let's find d, okay, which is necessary for finding the formula. Um, so, Technically speaking, we could take a sub 2 and subtract a sub 1, or we should be able to take any term and subtract the term before it and get the common difference. So that'd be 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. But you could also, you know, it, it's not a very difficult number. Uh, what do I subtract from 4 to get 1? I subtract 3. Or what do I add to 4 to get to 1? Negative 3. So there we have it. So D is negative 3. Right. And the second part of this problem is we just want to find the formula for a sub n. And if you look at that cheat sheet that uh, Matt put up there on uh, Learn Dash, uh, you'll see that a sub n is a sub 1, a sub 1, plus d times n minus 1. And then we can write it out, uh, distribute that d into the parentheses, and there we go. Um, if you may find it a little easier to call it a sub n equals a sub 0 plus d times n. Uh, either way you like it, it doesn't matter. It will they'll both work out exactly the same way. But we'll just use this one that's up on Learn Dash. So a sub n equals a sub 1, that's the first term, 4, plus d, which is negative 3, so it looks like plus a negative 3. We'll clean that up here in the next step and write it as minus 3, but anyway. Uh, negative 3 times and minus 1. Now this is just the formula for a sub n, so in this case we're not going to plug a number in for n, it's just going to stay the variable n, so n minus 1. We want to clean it up. We will uh, distribute the negative 3 and simplify it from there. So 4 Negative 3 times n, that's negative 3n. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. Um, and these are just a couple of numbers. We can add those together. We get 7 minus 3n. a sub n is equal to 7 minus 3n. Okay. If you like, some seem to like this idea of finding a sub 0, just looking back here, uh, we go, you know, the pattern is to go down by 3 every time. So if we go up 3, to 7, that would be the number just before 4, that would be a sub 0, and you could go from there and you just write this straight away, right? And really, the person who's distributing this negative 3 to this negative 1 and finding 3 is doing the same work that this person's doing to find a sub 0. Uh, clearly we found a sub 0, so no big difference there, uh, you just may think of it a little differently. Okay, so there's example 1. Second and last example for arithmetic sequences is going to be this one. So here they give us the formula, a sub n. They want us to find the first four, and you'll notice right after we do that, it'll look an awful lot like what was given here. Okay, so almost the same problem, and then they want us to find d. Um, so no big deal. And this is 2.3. All right, so we can just use the formula. If we want a sub 1, Right, the first four, a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Then let's just plug in numbers and see where it gets us. a sub 1, that's going to be 5 plus 2.3 times. Now, now we're using the formula a sub n to find a sub 1. So this, when this n changes to a 1, we'll change this n to a 1. Okay, 1 minus 1 a sub 1 equals 
five plus 2.3 times this, well, then the parentheses here, one minus one is just zero. 2.3 times zero, following the order of operations, that's zero. So a sub one is just five. Okay, you'll notice this fits that form of the formula from the cheat sheet, uh, a sub one plus the common difference times n minus one, a sub one plus the common difference, which is what, something else we're looking for, times n minus one. So that's a sub one, and we just noticed that the common difference is 2.3, right? If you didn't notice that and you just said, okay, I've got a sub one, and I'm gonna use the formula and find a sub two, uh, it would look like this, a sub two equals five plus 2.3 times two minus one, a sub two equals five plus 2.3 times 2 minus 1 is 1 so that's just 5 plus 2.3 a sub 2 and take a break for a second 5 plus 2.3 if that's you know there's only one more step here 5 plus 2.3 is going to give me a sub 2 a sub 1 is just 5 so adding 2.3 to it giving me a, a sub 2 that also gives me an indication that oh 2.3 is the common difference right if I'm going to take 5 and add 2.3 to it then 2.3 must be the common difference. Um, so we have here 7.3. Right. So a person who used the formula to find a sub 1 and a sub 2, at least then they could say, well, now I can follow the pattern, right? They notice it's adding 2.3. And find the first four. That's what it's asking us to do. Here we go. 2.3 again gives us 9.6. 2.3 again gives us 11.9. And those are the first four and that's it right we found uh, we've talked about some pretty basic things uh, talking about this nomenclature of a sub n how the way we denote which term we're talking about in the sequence uh, we've learned about the common difference We have, uh, let's see, we found the formula for a sub n, we know about the common difference, we know how arithmetic sequences work, we add or subtract the same number every step, uh, and that pretty much covers it for what we've talked about with arithmetic sequences so far. So uh, any questions, just give uh, me or Matt a, a, a shout out here on, on Slack, let us know what you're struggling with, and we'd be glad to help. Good luck.